though it's our third time at Pay Expo, but this year is really the first year where we are actually declaring our intention to enter the UK and the European markets. And the reason why we're here is that um, we like the size of the event. I think it's uh, it's not too large, but there is a you know it's quite innovative. You know it's quite vibrant. The sessions are good, so that's why we're here. And I think it's good to to connect not just for the European market, but also for the African and the Middle East markets. Yes, yeah, so I'm Group has actually been around for nearly 30 years. We are HQ in Casablanca in Morocco. We are a publicly listed company. And we work with about 300 financial institutions across the African and the Middle East markets. We offer a payment processing solution. So we are a technology solution provider. And what we're showcasing today is well, the experience and the expertise that we have in this field across issuing, acquiring, risk and fraud management, um, across sort of pure processing play in terms of clearing settlement. Uh, but we are also going to discuss our new class-based solution for processing as well. So, so we have a couple of interesting use cases that um, um, sort of relate, one relate with, to the open banking environment. So we build an open banking platform for the Bank of Mauritius. So we, were, we went through a proof of concept with them for about 18 months and we went live with them last July, so in July 2019. So to this platform we're actually connecting the 22 banks of Mauritius and this is a very novel way for them to manage payments. So we are really opening them up to the possibilities of digital payments, of card payments. It's an additional revenue stream as well for um, the Bank of Mauritius. And it's also um, enabling them to also be more innovative and creative with regard to digital payment products so that they can actually issue products on this platform. Uh, the, the other product that we have is our class-based solution, which is called MX Plus Payment as a Service. So that's something we have launched in India and in Australia. So that's for the Australian market, but our partner is based in Australia and in India. And it's a prepaid card scheme. And through our platform, they're going to be doing issuing and they're going to be able to manage, in a way, sort of remotely, the entire ecosystem for, for the target markets. Yeah, I think the challenge for us is that we have a very sort of comprehensive sort of offering in terms of processing but it's really for each market to really sort of position what we offer especially from a technology viewpoint so so for us it's really uh, to sort of look at sort of end customers but also looking at partners as well with whom we can go to market with I think for us there's two things um, the things that we hear a lot about is what do you do with the data that sort of go through your platform? How can you really sort of use the data? So I think an offering that is enabling your customers to actually understand better who their customers are, what they do, you know, in order to, you know, either for marketing purposes or for risk profiling purposes, I think that that's quite key. Open banking is a key one as well, um, especially as open banking is obviously key for the European markets, but also the standards are very different. So I think a solution that is going to be able to sort of be flexible and uh, adapted to those markets is going to be important.